video, I will show you how to connect Calendly to N8N. So to do this, first going to open up N8N and going to open up the workflow that you want to use Calendly in. And there, just click plus. And in the search notes section, going to search for Calendly and then select it. And currently you can use it for triggers only. So if you want to use it for an action, you need to request it. But for now, they only have on event created or on event canceled. I'll use on event created as a trigger. Then here you need to go to credential to connect with and select a credential, then create a credential. Now they used to have API key or access token, but it says here that Calendly will discontinue API key authentication. So I'll show you how to do it with the other one, which is the O of two. And for doing that, you want to open up Calendly. Then in the left menu, go to integrations and apps. And here search for API and then select API and webhooks. And then select the O auth right here. For this, you will need to have a developer account. So we just click login or sign up. It's completely free. Then you're just going to sign up with Google, GitHub, or email and password. Then from here, just going to click on sign up. And then here you can create your account with your email, password, and first and last name. And then a verification email will be sent. So we're going to open it up. So the email will look like this. Just click verify email. And after doing that, you will see this. So from here, click create new app. Now for the app name, just name it N8N. Now for the kind of app, select web. Then for the environment type, it depends on what you're using it for. If you're not sure, they can just ask the assistant on N8N for the setup instructions. But in this case, I'll set it to sandbox. And from there for the URL, what you need to do is open up N8N and then just copy the URL you have right there. And then here, just paste in that URL and then click save and continue. Then you will get a client ID, which you can now copy. And then simply paste that in here in the client ID. Then you need the client secret which is also listed as client secret right here. So copy that and then go to paste that in and then click connect my account. And then here click connect to Calendly so you can see N8N. And now the connection has been successful and this tab will be closed. But now you can see I have connected my Calendly account with my N8N account. And now from there you can set the user or organization and the events that you want to use this with. So then from there, you can create new nodes. So now I have the Calendly trigger. So when an event is created, then I can say do this or this. And now you know how to connect Calendly with N8N. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.